One of those special holiday traditions is a ballet called the Nutcracker. Now, we don't know how this performance became synonymous with Christmas, but for lots of people it has, especially in the West Texas town of El Paso. The Christmas season is a magical time in El Paso. When the cold December winds sweep in from the desert, moms and dads and aunts and uncles bundle up the little ones all decked out in their holiday best, and they all head for the old Plaza Theater. You see, for better than 50 years, the historic showplace comes alive at Christmas time for the holiday tradition of the Nutcracker Ballet. In fact, this is where the Nutcracker was first performed in Texas. And after all these years, German-born Ingeborg Heuser is still the director. Is everybody okay? Yeah. yeah. Ballet is life. And ballet is life for my kids, too. It teaches tremendous discipline. Come on, we don't have all day. She's a stickler for details, and with a giant cast and huge stage, no snowflake goes unturned. From the smallest mouse to the beautiful snow princess, Ingeborg has choreographed every step, every graceful move to create a 19th century Christmas in Germany. I thought, you know, when I got off the ship, everybody would know who I was, but it wasn't so. Ingeborg was one of the leading young ballet performers in Germany. It was the 1940s when war ripped Europe apart, and the young teenager's performance with the Berlin Ballet caught the attention of the Nazi leadership. She was ordered to entertain for SS officers across occupied Europe, where she kept her mouth shut, kept on her toes, and that kept her alive until the end of that terrible dictatorship. In the 1950s, Ingeborg ended up in, of all places, the West Texas desert, where ballet was as scarce as rainfall. In fact, her El Paso Ballet Company was the first of its kind in Texas, and the Nutcracker caught on quick with the folks in El Paso. Intermission and a sold-out theater, and backstage, the cameras come out to capture a moment in time, a moment in history. For this is the grand finale of The Nutcracker, and the last performance ever for the El Paso Ballet. It seems after 50 years, the birthplace of The Nutcracker in Texas will become its resting place. Ingeborg is retiring, and there's no one to fill her shoes. After the final curtain tonight, an era that so many people cherish in El Paso will go dark for good. I'm trying to remember all the positive things, how lucky I am that you were part of my life. Every cast member knows the final last act of the Nutcracker is the end of a half-century tradition. I hope it's not the end. I hope that somebody will say we're going to continue. I think I will be very sad, but I am not crying. Sometimes when I'm in the back and everybody has a good time, I cry. You know? You cry? Yeah, because it's exciting. It's exciting that I can do something to move people. Watching from the wings, Ingeborg watches a half century of dancers she has molded and lives she has touched. 
And as the final scene comes to a close, snowflakes melt into teardrops to the thundering standing ovation that seems to go on forever. As the city rises to its feet to say goodbye and watch the curtain come down on a Christmas tradition no one thought would ever end. We would like to honor the founder, the director, our leader, our hero Amen. for all of these years without whom there would not be ballet in El Paso, without whom there would not be a nutcracker for all these years, without whom we would not have ballet. Thank you for everything you have given all of us forever. I don't want the dance to die in this town. I don't want ballet to die. I don't want it to be this, the end.